Hey guys, and welcome back to Jade Rogue Plays Game of Thrones. Uh, we just dealt out some mercy against the thief. I know it doesn't sound very wise, but I don't like the I don't know. I honestly don't know anymore. I, mm. See, that's the thing about these games, they can make you very uneasy about your decisions. Let's talk to Duncan. Duncan. Yes, my lord. I have much to consider and face a difficult decision. Perhaps I can help. Your father often sought my counsel. As lord, I must name a sentinel. Of course. And if I may ask, who do you favor for the role? Perhaps I can share my insight. And talking can sometimes help you make a decision. Would you want to be the sentinel? More than you can imagine, my lord. With all due respect for Sir Royland, there's no one better suited to the role than me. Thank you, Duncan. I appreciate your advice. I'm at your service, my lord. Our provisions are rather low, my lord. I made the count again, just to be sure. But it doesn't look good. How bad is it? How long could we hold the house? We couldn't withstand a siege, my lord. If the Boltons or the White Hills cut us off and wait us out, we'd only last a fortnight. But there are steps we can take. In the past, we've demanded food from the small folk to replenish our stores. We can do it again, if you'd like. We've done it before in desperate times. The last long winter, my family had to give all our pigs to the house. If that's what's necessary to keep the house safe, then we must. Aye. A hard choice, but it's what has to be done. I'll see to the arrangements, my lord. Let's do everything we can to make sure this house doesn't fall. Okay. Hey, hey, girl. Who's this? Malcolm. Is Malcolm in the middle? Now, when Hold I on. Say parry, get that sword out. There we go. Now he's Malcolm in the middle. Ha! Uh, I made a joke. Not a very good one. Ethan. Or should I say Lord Ethan? Hello, Uncle Malcolm. I saw what you did today. It's not an easy thing to do, showing mercy to a man who admits his guilt. But if you'll excuse me, my lord, I should finish packing before nightfall. I hope to be up tomorrow. At first light. But where are you going? Your mother asked me to cross the narrow sea to find your brother, Asher. Asher? She has asked me to return with him, to help the house. He said nothing of this to me. Because she fears you will not agree. I told her my place is here, but I'll be of no help to you in Essos. But she insisted. I will hold, of course, until you've spoken with her about this. Just try to be kind to her. She's been living a nightmare made real. But you know that just as well. She's my mother. Of course I'll be gentle. I know you will. You're good-hearted, my lord. That is your true strength. But my mother's fears are not the only ones I face. My people are scared as well. I'm told I must choose a sentinel. If I may be so bold, Sir Royland is the man for the job. He'd be a fine choice. And I'd trust him. Aye, Sir Royland is the man you want. I think you're wrong, uncle. You're young. And you still have much to learn. We are at war. You need a warrior by your side. Royland has the respect of his men and will bring strength and discipline to this house. Duncan would offer sage advice, but now is not the time to negotiate. Thank you, Uncle. Ethan, I need to talk to you. Oh, you look pissed. Mm. I saw what you did to that man. What, you don't agree? I can't afford any more mistakes. Everyone knows what happened with Lord Whitehill. Garrett being sent to the wall without my knowledge. I know. And that wasn't your fault. Well, I'm the Lord. It's my responsibility. The people want me to lead. They need me to, but... What? Ethan, please. Tell me. What do you suggest I do? You must be strong, decisive. You are the lord of this house. 
Remember, you're just as capable as Asher or Roderick ever were. I know it. I only wish you did too. You have always given me good advice. Thank you. Hmm. I like her. It's good we have another character to fall in love with her and make babies in the Game of Thrones world. And then they'll get murdered by Ghost Joffrey. Okay, I talked to you. You pulled me across and you seemed pretty mad, but I don't know. I don't think so. It's best if I do it at the small council meeting. That means now. Honestly, I don't think I want to talk to you. Yeah. Okay, so I think I'm ready to make my decision. Oh, wait, hey, Ryan. Careful. Keep at it and you won't have much left. Something to pick your teeth with. No, Ethan. Look at this. All good swords have a name. I call mine Two Brothers. I carved this to give me strength. And this, so I remember. I mean, I could never forget. But, oh, you know, don't you? I'm honored. Yeah, oh, yay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Someday, I'll have a real one. But not like that one. Only a lord could have that sword. You all have a good sword. I'm sure of it. Absolutely. I watched you today. I saw what you did to that man. I... Why does no one agree? Was he... Our enemy? No. A bad man? Everyone keeps talking about them. No. He's not our enemy. But he did a bad thing. Then I wish you'd hurt him. People who do bad things need to be punished. Oh, Someone kid. did something bad to Father and Roderick. Someone should hurt them even worse. I want a real sword. No one's afraid of wood. I'll find the men who took Roderick someday, and I'll make sure I have a real sword when I do. Uh, kid, you need to lay off those pep pills or the sweets, whatever they're giving you. Because they're making you a tad bit crazy. I like your sword, actually. Two brothers. Good name. Um... Got... got... a lot of... So, uh, I only... I only think I know a few swords in the, in the Game of Thrones universe. I know Ice, which is the sword that Ned Stark uses, or used, anyway. Um, there's another one that Arya uses, but she lost that in the second season, I think. I don't remember the name. Oh. Come on, you dogs! You'll not... Maester? Yes, Lord Ethan. Are you prepared to name your sentinel? Yes, yes. Maester. I'm ready. Very well. I will convene the small council at once. Good. Malcolm in the middle actually might have actually gotten to me. Wait, uh, someone strong is needed. But I like Garrod. I like Garrod so much better. But in this world, if you be too nice, you are you are certainly going to die. You may sit. You I believe smart. Lord Ethan has reached his decision. Before I name my sentinel, I must tell you. Duncan, Roiland, this house needs you both. But you can only choose one, my lord. Let him but be on with it. But now, jeez. Many thought either of you would make a fine sentinel, but I have made my decision.
I actually have to agree with Royland. God damn it, Malcolm, you pulled my head in. Sir Royland de Gore, you will be my sentinel. Gods be praised. You've done well, Lord Ethan. You won't regret this. A poor choice, my lord. Forgive me for saying so, but it's true. Now, Sentinel, what do you have to report of Ramsey Snow? My scouts say he's a day's ride away. We've no time to waste. He'll arrive before any of our allies could be here. Who knows what he's capable of? We need to prepare for the worst. There's no need to panic. We can devise a plan to deal with him. The Boltons need our people to harvest the ironwood. Even the bastard Ramsey must understand that. He's not coming here to negotiate. We must answer with the sword. That's bloody suicide. You gamble with the lives of everyone within these walls. Quiet, Tuttle. You're not the Sentinel. I knew this would happen. He cannot be trusted. This is the small council, is it not? Lord Ethan should hear from all of us. Enough! Would my father have stood for this kind of bickering? Neither will I. So, both of you, shut your face. The that, Bolton that. sigil is a flayed man. Force is the only thing they understand. Put every man who can hold a spear or crossbow on the wall and make the bastard fill his boots with piss. He hey, would see it the empty gesture that it is and have us flayed. We must take a measured approach, my lord. Gentlemen, um, please. I agree. I may have needed use Emtonal, but. Jeez. Mother. What do you recommend we do? We must give him whatever he wants and be done with it. It's too dangerous to do otherwise. Why not make an offering for peace, my lord? Chair, yeah, the wisdom of the citadel. We can give the Boltons ironwood in exchange for their protection. You must be mad. It's pure folly to just give away the only currency we have to bargain with. Enough! I don't want to piss you off, but... And you're my sentinel. Let me think. Bargaining or... As far as I know, that is the only currency we have to bargain with. And if this is a war, we need that stuff. We're not fighting. That's just bloody suicide. If you think we need to fight, then no. Although Sir Ryland may object, I shall use diplomacy with Lord Snow. I would be foolish to pick a fight without negotiating first. I'll offer our allegiance and try to reach a reasonable agreement. So shut your face. If you aren't ready for a fight, you're bound to lose when one breaks out. This isn't time for fighting. Ethan has made his opinion known and you will respect his decision. Forgive us, my lord. We are, of course, here to serve you. As we served your father. Aye. Good. Well then, let's decide how we shall set the stage for Ramsey's arrival. Invite him into this hall and meet him face to face, lord to lord. Ramsey Snow is no lord. That's absurd. You meet him at the gate with as much force as we can muster. Make him wait. Let him gaze upon Iron Wrath. And when he enters, he'll know it's only because you allowed it. Lord Ethan? I will meet him in the Great Hall. It's careless. Can't you see Tuttle is steering you wrong? You will lead us into ruin! I've faithfully served this house for far too long to sit here and listen to this. You're likely to get us all killed. Not another word. I'd hoped for better from you, my lord. Excuse me? Apologies, I... my son. I had expected better of him. But now that it is settled, we know what we must do. Excuse we will me. meet Ramsay Snow in the Great Hall, and we will not offer our ironwood. No matter what, I will stand beside you, my lord, where your sentinel belongs. I then agreed with we you. Adjourn. We have to prepare the house. I agreed with you, Garrett. I went with everything just because I didn't choose you as sentinel. I didn't want you to get pissed. And you get pissed anyway. My lord, I have fought for this family for many years. Do not forget that. I know. But...
There will always be those who question your leadership, which is why you need allies you can rely on. Family. What about your brother, Asher? Malcolm told me. You want to bring him back. He's a skilled fighter. But what's more, he has the will to fight. A hunger for it. He always protected you and your sister. And we need all the help we can get. Yes, I hear what you're saying. Do you remember the Miller's boy? How he tormented you? I wanted to intervene, but your father said... Ethan must fight his own battles. But when Asher saw it, he didn't take a breath. He grabbed the Miller's boy by the neck. That was his first instinct. Asher knocked out half the poor boy's teeth. Of course, your father was furious, but you were in danger and there was nothing else Asher needed to know. Asher does not hesitate. He acts, and we need that. You Asher have sounds like a badass. Qualities. But you do not have that anger inside you. It's something we could use. Asher is dangerous and unpredictable. His presence could help or hurt. Having another sword at your side always helps. Especially now. I agree. I wonder why he's dangerous. What did he do? I'm trying to do what's best for this family. What this family needs. Ethan, let me send Malcolm to Essos. Fine. Malcolm will go to Essos and bring Asher back. Thank you, Ethan. I'm glad you will let me do this. Know that you never stand alone. You are a forester. Mira stands with us and she may be able to help us yet. I hope so. Uh, Garrett, really? I, hmm, I'm really disappointed in Garrett. I thought he'd be more rational than that. Malazi. Hey, Mira. You. Begging your pardon, Malady. I hope I didn't frighten you. I'm glad to see you. Thank you, Malady. I hope you saw. I was right before. About Lady Marjorie and Queen Cersei. I just want you to know, I... I can help you if you'd like. And your family, if you're willing to trust me. I hear all sorts of things. Things that could be useful for you. It's too dangerous for me right now. And for you as well. You needn't worry about me. I can take care of myself. Which is why you must trust me, milady. You need allies. I Hopefully have I've proven I could be useful to you. I'm sorry. I... I really must go. Please don't despair. I know people who... People who'd be willing to help you. Hmm. Who do you mean? She always seems so nervous. Oh, she, she is living in King's Landing. Hello. Stop looking at my booty. My booty is not to be touched. Where that bloody hell is Duncan? He should be here. Duncan? Oh, fuck Quite no. He's angry. Oh, I got... We'll do without him. And without King's Landing. I know you'd hoped Mira could help us, but I'm confident we've enough strength of our own. Your men are ready to act if needed. Our plan is a good one. It will work so long as everyone does their part. Oh, there he is. Ramsey Snow. Isn't this a lovely pile of timber? Not the place I want to be if there was a fire. Ironwood is near impervious to flame, my lord. Is he? Don't May test I it. introduce Lord Ramsay of House Bolton, son of Roos Bolton. Although a bastard, Lord Ramsay has the full authority of the Warden no. of the... That's enough. Well, even he's nervous. 
Who is this little boy? Is he lost? Lord Ramsay, welcome to Ironrath. Aren't you the little lord? Lord Whitehall told me you were young. <laughs> this! Look at you! Yes, I'm young. A token for the new Warden of the North. Let me guess. Forrester Iron. Carved by our most skilled craftsmen. Ironwood. Doesn't look like much. No one can match our skill. Is that so? <coughs> oh. Shit. <laughs> Not bad. Lord Whitehill, can your lot do this? Given enough time, we could learn... Given enough time, you could do a great many things. But not this, the pack. Please, Ramsey, smile. Look at that. War Forester. You North stay Ramsey. away from them. Come out where I can see you. Ramsey, this is between you and me. Leave them out of this. Force him to focus on the business at hand. Leave them be, Lord Ramsey. Ah, worried about your family, as you should be. I'm the Lord. I'll have you speak only with me. First, let's see you bend the knee to my father, Lord Bolton, Warden of the North. Words are wind. Anyone can say they're loyal. I want you to show me. My Lord. Ha! That wasn't so hard now, was it? Here's the thing. I don't care about your loyalty. The Crown, however, wants what you've got. Whatever you've been supplying the Starks for centuries. Ships, shields, chamber pots. I expect you'll do the same for us. My father has promised as much to the King. You wouldn't want to make him a liar, would you? That wouldn't reflect well on me. You needn't worry. Your father will have what he needs. That's a good little lord. You can't trust her, Forrester. They murdered our men. It was a uh, Forrester squad. One Whitehill soldier dead. One bolt. Yet your man lived. He was within his rights. They killed his family. His right? He killed a loyal soldier in my father's army. Then you welcomed me into your hall like a proper lord, hoping I wouldn't linger outside long enough to notice your pathetic little army. That sort of insolence from one of our loyal bannermen will not do. So I've come up with a solution that will benefit everyone. The White Hills will be taking control of your Ironwood from this day forward. What? what? Uh, no, you The Ironwood? But... The White Hills are nothing more than up jump thieves! You can't do that! Why not? You know something the White Hills don't? We are talking about trees. You grow them, you cut them down. We have loyal craftsmen who make the finest weapons. The White Hills have no such craftsmen. Do you want Snap. Ironwood for the next five years, or the next fifty generations? The little lord does have a point. We'll try this. Lord Whitehill will take half of your Ironwood, and we'll see who fares better. But my lord... Half of something is better than the nothing you had before. To ensure there's no trouble, Lord Whitehill will install a garrison of... Twenty men within your wall. At Ironrath, that we cannot abide. Ethan. They'll Shut up. help the maintain Lord. the King's peace. And make sure there's no more trouble. This will cause more trouble, not less. <laughs> not for me. Oh, jeez. Why isn't our men not in here? You have a man you trust? My son, Griff. Riff will lead the garrison. The seven hells he will. That's do make this visit worthwhile. Please, Put Sir your Roland, swords away. Don't. 
Look at I this said. little forester. Leave him alone, I said. Right? Yeah. Are you? Lord Ramsay, please. And you? Oh, this tense. Are you Lord Ethan's older sister? I'm his twin, my lord. Ah, twins. Well, like the queen and her brother. What? Well, hopefully not just like the queen and her brother. Ew. I never had a sister. Always wanted one. I said leave them be! I have an idea. You'll come with me. You can be my highborn ward. Lord Ramsay, that's enough. Do you like hunting? Let her go. She's quite pretty, your sister. We get along well. <gasps> She's my sister. I suppose you can stay. Aren't you the bold lord? <laughs> what? What have you done? <laughs> but I don't want a bold lord. Oh. Far too much trouble. Ethan! Ethan! My lord! No, no! Even though you did bend the knee. My son. I think we've come to an understanding. No. Ethan! I no. certainly feel better about all this. Ethan! Oh, However, on. the foresters need to keep their end of the bar. Don't you dare! No! Stop! Oh, take the boy as your ward. Oh, no. Kill him. If they give you any trouble. Uh, right. Someone d help! Lovely meeting all of you. Uh, I'm we'll going have to, to do it again you. sometime. Somebody oh, on, help please him. Don't. Fetch the mace so quickly! You brought this please. on yourself. I want to kill you too. Stop! Don't I'm kill me. You, you will not take Stop him! Help me! Ryan, please! No! Ryan! Do something! Ethan! Ethan! Oh. What? Are you serious? Ah, oh, you pricks, Telltale. Ah, oh, you pricks. Ethan sacrificed himself for us all. He saved Talia's life. He'll be remembered as Ethan the Brave. This house needs a leader. Lord Ethan named me Sentinel. I will lead this house. My sister asked you to swear loyalty to her son, and you did it without flinching. We can't let them hurt Ryan too. We have to stop them. We do not stand alone. There are those who will fight for us. Those who hold House Forrester above all other loyalties. Those who will not stop until Ethan is avenged. Until Ryan is home again, our house will not fall. We will be ready. Nothing comes without a cost, my lady. Are you prepared for what might happen? Oh my god! That was certainly a slap in the face. Wow. Incredible. I haven't felt this way since freaking Ned died. Jesus. Okay, so these are our choices. Um, forty-nine percent of us left born behind. Ugh. Probably should have saved him there. Actually, I th now that I think about it, I swear loyalty to the king. Yes, because I'm not gonna piss off Cersei. She's gonna get me killed. Freed Eric. No, don't. Oh, well, I guess we were, we were in the majority of that one, because. It was either send him to the wall, cut three of his fingers, or send him free, so... I'm glad we got that. Well, I guess people aren't as weak as me, because they choose, uh... Duncan as their sentinel. I did not. I cracked under the pressure and I chose Roy Royland because... I thought he could help. I thought he was better. And... Oh. And yes, we met Ramsay in the Great Hall. Ugh. I wonder if, um, if we, oh no, probably would have ended up worse, probably would have, he would, probably would have flayed me the other way. 
Anyway, that's episode one. Um, I'm pleasantly surprised by this. I'm like, Telltale didn't really have a lot to go with early on these this decade or last decade or these past few years. But once they made The Walking Dead, they really started to come into their own as really good writers, and that's that's great. I, I love this because this wouldn't have been this would have this wouldn't have happened. The Walking Dead season two wouldn't have happened. Season one, The Wolf Among Us, all of these awesome games, and these guys are just one of my favorite developers right now. Still not over that stupid death. But I and in like Telltale fashion, I don't think you can change much because it is a it is your story. It is not multiple branching paths or anything like that it is your story. That's what that's a lot of, why a lot of people complained about season one. No matter what happened, you didn't change, but they didn't understand that your story that was it. I know it's hard uh, it's probably not that hard to understand, but I can't really explain it very well. Jesus. Good game. G G G game. Good game game. We finally get to meet Asha. And as far as I know, there's going to be five different characters in this whole series. In the six episodes, so I'm hoping that once every episode, a character is not going to die. Because if they do that, that's going to be very annoying. It's going to be very sad. I'm going to be very pissed. Oh my god. There we go, We've got four characters left. So it makes me wonder, who's that fourth one in the background? So far I've seen a uh, Garrod. He's at the wall in the next episode it looks like. Mira, still King's Landing. And Asha, who we have not met yet. We've just seen small glimpses of him. And he's in Essos where Daenerys is, so hopefully we get to see her in the next episode as well. I want to make a guess. I think that might be Roderick. That fourth guy. That, that's just a guess. Okay. That's enough talking for me. I thank you guys for sticking with the series. Whoever watches this, if you enjoy the video. Uh, like, subscribe. All that normal stuff that you do on YouTube that not everyone does on YouTube because not everyone just jumps onto another channel for no reason. They do it with stuff. And now I've lost my train of thought. Anyway. I'll see you for the next episode, coming soon. Bye-bye!